Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding Journey with Akash. So friends, today's video me we are not solving any interview questions, but what we are solving is a kind of a product requirement, which you can get in the organization. Ke andar mil sakti. So it's an example of which type of questions or which type of requirements we can get. So let's try to solve this one. So in this, what we have to do is, so suppose this is a contact form, and there are two input box, full name and blood group, okay, and a submit button. And the requirement is that whenever the user will type into this full name so let's suppose he is typing he or she is typing in uh, like lower case but it should automatically get converted into the case like this like auto capitalize like something like this okay so i was typing in lower case but it's got converted into this something like this and if we are typing in upper case then also it should get converted into this particular auto capitalize okay similarly when we are typing the blood group so it doesn't matter if the user is typing it in smaller case it should automatically get converted into upper case okay so this is a product requirement that you can get and now let's try to solve this one if you already know it's good but if you don't know then do watch this video till the end and don't forget to like share and subscribe cool so this is a boilerplate okay in code sandbox and now what i have done is i have already created this ui for us and uh, this is a simple form as we can see with two input box and one submit button and over here in styles.css i have added few styles you can simply copy these styles i will leave a link to this sandbox in the comment section okay now let's see how we can apply the logic so first of all what comes to our mind is that and one more thing friends in organization they don't follow like most of the organization they are working on javascript but to be honest nowadays uh, like companies are migrating towards typescript more okay so i am also using ts and if you are not comfortable with ts then i will just suggest you to learn ts okay so what comes to our mind is that currently as you can see it's not controlled by any state okay so we need a state first let's make a state so what we are going to do we are simply going to have a form data the name for our state okay something like this and let's give it a initial state let's say full name as empty string and blood group as empty string as well something like this let's create a interface so over here what we are doing is we are actually defining that uh, what kind of data we are expecting so what i do is i follow this practice basically this particular name convention whatever interface whatever name i choose for my interface let's suppose state okay i always prefix this capital i in front of it you can also follow the similar approach so we are going to say is like the the data that we are expecting is of like it is a it is an object having two properties full name and blood group and the properties are of string type something like that now it is more readable now what we can do next is uh, let's first uh, let's first bind the data so here we have like input so using the value property let's give it the form data dot full name something like this and over here also let's bind it value equals form data dot blood group something like this okay cool uh invalid hook call so so sorry actually it was supposed to come inside this just give me a second okay it will come inside this and this will go outside something like this cool cool now what we can do is we need to add our logic to auto capitalize this and to capitalize this fully so for that what we can do is we can simply add one handler handle input change
this will receive the event this will receive the event and let's add a type for this event as well react dot change event and it's a html input element cool okay now what we can do is we can simply have uh let's over here we have name we have value okay so let's try to let's create a variable of string type and let's have e event dot target dot name similarly we can have value as well event dot target dot value cool so we have got name and value now what i'm going to do is let's have const result string let's say it as empty string now we can simply add a switch case and on the basis of we can this particular name we can check that if it is a full name then what kind of logic we have to you know add and if this is a blood group then what kind of logic we need to add so let's see let's have a switch and something like name over here and what we can do is case let's say it's a full name full name something like this okay over here what we need to do is result equals value okay so we are going to check if we have value then what we need to do we simply need to uh, pick the value at zero and we simply need to convert it to uppercase to uppercase something like this okay and one mistake over here we need to do it value and this will be also value okay something like this we are going to uh, convert it to uppercase plus what else we can do is value dot slice okay why we are doing slice because we only need to convert the first character to uppercase and rest of the characters will be lowercase length something like this and dot to lowercase something like this cool okay so it's giving us error because we are using const and we are trying to reassign it but we need to use let over here cool so this thing is done uh okay so value if we if we have value then we are going to perform this operation else what we can do is we are simply going to return the empty string cool now finally let's have a break statement over here and similarly uh, we can perform the same thing for blood group okay let's quickly copy paste and yes so for blood group what we can do is uh, if we are having the name as blood group then what we are going to do uh, we simply need to perform the uppercase logic value dot to uppercase something like this cool okay now similarly what we can do is we can add a default case and in default case what we can do is result equals value something like this and it's done so this was the small logic uh, that we can apply okay now another step that is left is to you know on change equals handle input change uh, uh, what we did we forgot something i think uh, 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 handle input change now okay cool now similarly over here also what we can do is hit enter and on change equals handle input change something like this so it should work i think plus uh, one more thing we can do is we can handle a uh, like functionality of submit over here like on submit equals handle submit we don't have handle submit in the system right now but let's quickly create it const handle submit equals this arrow function and what we can do is over here we can simply log it 
so actually the requirement that we can get is uh, the requirement could be something like uh, to make an api call with the data okay but for the sake of this video i'm just simply um, console like doing console log of the data that we have okay blood group pool something like this so let's quickly have a look if whatever we write over here is actually getting typed or not one more thing we can do is just to make it you know look good okay so let's try adding anything it's not working i can see this it's not working okay so let's see why it's not working <laughs> okay so friends it's not working because we have only uh, we are only calling this function we are not setting the state anywhere so let's quickly do that uh, step as well so set form data and i'm going to use the second form of uh, basically uh, set state okay return the new object and let's have the previous state first and then the name that we have got okay and we are going to have the result over here something like this okay so what we are going to do we are actually uh, uh, like we are preventing the previous state plus we are also updating the new state so like let's suppose we have uh, got the name as full name so we are updating the full name with the result that we are getting over here okay so now let's see if it works or not okay so if i'm typing akash okay i'm talking i'm typing in lower case but it's auto capitalized similarly i'm typing ab in smaller case but it's auto capitalized as you can see okay so now let's open the console and let's have a look uh, what do we get okay so if we open the console and if we and if we hit the submit button over here sorry i it's not working properly. okay okay so as you can see our form as our form basically uh, like our page got reloaded so we can prevent that thing also and in order to do that we simply need to do e dot prevent default event dot prevent default something like this and this e will come over here and we need to add the basically uh, type as well e dot react change event and it is a html form element okay html form element something like this cool so uh, cannot assign message uh, let's ignore this and let's see if it works akash and if we say like a b positive okay and let's click on submit so cool we are getting the details as well and you can simply make an api call using these details so cool friends uh the this is it for this video um basically i just wanted to give you some sort of an idea that what kind of requirements you can get while working in a real organization okay and this type of questions could also be asked while giving an interview okay so i hope the video was good and you got to learn something new if yes then don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you for watching